Okay, today we're going to learn how to do three basic crochet stitches. We're going to learn how to do a chain stitch, cro single crochet, and a double crochet. Uh, if you want to follow along, you're going to need a crochet hook and a skein of yarn. First thing we're going to do is make a knot, and if you miss that, I'm going to go ahead and do it again a little slower. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be the, the very first stitch when we get started. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is make a loop, right, and we want to pull the thread that's attached to your skein up through in a loop here. Let's I'm taking my two fingers, rolling like that, and this long yarn, long piece of yarn right here, is going to go th up and through, and that's going to be our very first loop. <clears throat> I'm going to take our crochet hook and put it through the loop, like so. Okay, now the basic chain, what we're going to do is take, again, this long piece that's attached to your skein or your ball of yarn, and we're going to kind of put it up over our finger like so, okay? So that way we can stick the uh, crochet hook under like so, or it'll wrap around so there's a little part that gets stuck in the hook there. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to do it again. There's that long piece right there. Our hook's going to go around like that. See that part stuck in the hook? You just pull it through. And that's how you do a basic chain stitch. Up, around the hook, and pull it through. You see we've got a chain going right here. Okay, now that's your basic chain stitch. You definitely need to know that if you're going to do any crocheting. Like so. See? And we got this cute little chain going on. We already have our chain, as you can see right here. Now, what we're going to do for our very first stitch after we do the chain is we're going to put our hook through the second one from the hook. Here's the piece that the hook is through. This is the first chain from the hook right here. And this one is the second chain that my thumb is on, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put our hook through that first loop. As you can see, we're going to put the yarn in the crook of the hook and pull through. That's the first part of a single crochet, okay? The next part we're going to go ahead and put the yarn through the crook of the hook again, and we're going to pull it through both of those loops that were on the hook. And there's our first one, okay? Now, again, a single crochet. You put your hook through the loop of the chain, and then you're going to go ahead and grab with your hook some yarn, pull it through that first loop, then you should have two loops on your hook. We're going to grab some more yarn and pull it through those two loops. Okay? Okay, let's do it one more time. I'm going to go through the hoop, or through the loop 
on the chain, grab some yarn, pull it up. We have two loops on the hook, and then grab some more yarn, pull it through the two loops. It should look like this. Now, a double crochet, when you're starting it at an end, you're going to want to make three chains. So there's one, two, three, okay? And when you're starting a row for double crochet, that's how you start it. It's three chains. And that's going to be your first double crochet of the next row. You want to go ahead and turn it. Okay, and we're going to do our first actual double crochet. Now this one is a little trickier than a single crochet, but once you see it a few times it'll make sense. So the first thing you do for a double crochet is you grab some yarn around your hook before you put it through the loop. Okay, now you stick your hook through the loop, grab some yarn, pull it through, okay? Now, at this point you should have three loops on your hook. Now you're going to grab some more yarn and you're going to pull it through the first two loops, okay? So you've pulled your yarn for, through the first two loops. There should be two loops remaining on your hook. You're going to grab some more yarn and pull it through the next two loops to complete your double crochet. Okay? Now we're going to do this again. We're going to do it a little slower. You got one loop on your hook to start with. You're going to put some yarn on your hook. And just so you know, in crochet terms, that's a yarn over. Uh, if you're reading a pattern, it'll say Y-O, and that's what they mean. Now, you've got what looks like two loops on your hook right now. Now you put it through the loop in the bottom, okay? Yarn over, so you grab some more yarn for your hook, and pull through and you should have three loops on your hook. Then you yarn over, that's a grab some more yarn, pull it through the first two loops, you should have two loops remaining, and then yarn over and pull it through the next two loops. Okay? And that is a double crochet. So yarn over, there you go, stick it in, yarn over, pull it out. Should have three loops on your hook. Then you take yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. And your stitches should look like this. And that's a double crochet.